it's all about just doing things that I want to do and it's about um, it's about making things that I think are cool and making things that I think are good and if there's not a ton of thought after that so even when it comes to like making a shirt or making a hoodie or making a belt or whatever it is even if the belt costs us a fortune we're still gonna make it we're so just, check this out we're on one road right yep. we're on just Stevens Creek we've now we're gonna be at three locations on Stevens Creek on the same road on the same road look at that Um, that thing was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. So what's cool about this location is that they have Starbucks and the Bay Club kind of together. And um, so this one doesn't have a cafe. Most of the other ones do. This one just has a Starbucks inside. <laughs> but this Starbucks and this lounge, the lounge is only available for Bay Club members. That was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, park. Mark, what do I do? What's the verdict on your keto tray? I like it a lot. It's really good. Um, this is the um, first uh, food of the day. It's about 11.30 or so, I think. I could fast for longer, but probably not a smart idea. It's 11.20. Last meal last night was about 9.30. Like I said, I could go a little further. I feel good. I have a lot of energy, but I don't know where the next opportunity will be for food, so. Throwing it down right now. So we're here at Bay Club in Cupertino. It's hard to envision exactly when you're just walking around right now what it's gonna be like, but that's kind of the fun of it, right? The fun of it is you walk into a space and you see like cardio machines, you see a small space, but then you think about it in your head six months from now, three months from now, two months from now, it's gonna be a high energy, just packed of people. And you gotta create the demand, you gotta have good coaching, and you gotta just have some type of space. I think that's the secret to business, right? You don't need anything super crazy or fancy. You just need to develop a, a, a sense of high level of coaching with really good programming, and that's the key. So here we are at Cupertino. This location, you just kind of glimpse of it. Give it a month, and you'll see what the changes will be. Jason, what's your what's your background? Like, what did you, uh, you, you go to college and learn business or how did how did any of this come to be yeah I went to uh, yeah I kind of went to you know they, they call it the school of I mean I went to school I went to business school right? right but really what I went to is kind of like more practical school and so what it was was when I was in high school I started working at a conventional gym throughout college I worked at this conventional gym and then yes I went to you know I went to an, uh, a junior college and then I went to uh, you know four-year college, right? I got my degree in, in business management. But really what I think I learned a lot of the stuff that I do is through um, like mentors and, and people around me who are doing it you know, at a level that I really wanna be at. You know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but you know, for years I went to school full-time, then I uh, worked full-time, and then I started up a clothing company that failed, and I, uh, and I used to ride the elliptical with the owner of the business I worked for you know, twice a week. And I would just pick his brain and try and understand what is he doing and, and what's all that kind of stuff. I was motivated. I was driven. I wanted to. I wanted to be successful enough that I could take my wife out. And that's really what it was about. It was about you know having enough money to do the things I wanted to do and not have to worry about you know asking my parents for money. You wanted to make her proud. She's somebody that you've been with since since uh, like high school, right? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty crazy. She was 14. I was 15 when we started dating. Damn. That's pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> and you're and you're 30 now or almost 31 right? yeah 31 okay 31 yeah so we've been I've been with my wife longer than I've been without my wife so we're rolling up into a place called Montague Point I met a gentleman in Mexico over dinner who happens to be an executive at a company and I said to him hey you know I'm, I'm into you know I do this fitness thing he said oh I, I have a bunch of places I said, okay cool I was like, I like doing service-based fitness. He's like, great, we need that. I said, okay, give me an opportunity to prove to you that we could do it. So he gave me this space. So what I said to him is I said, hey, look, let's go ahead and take out all the gym equipment. Let's go ahead and just put in um, some open space. Let's get some kettlebells and some wall balls. And let's go ahead and throw some classes in here. And so this is a 60-day pilot program. We're not making a single penny off of this, but the goal is just to show value into what we're doing. Cafe Kalipa. 
It's pretty cool. They're at uh, about four minutes. I wonder how long they have to do this for. How long they have to do this for? They're going for 12 minutes. Oh, man. Yeah. And they are four minutes and 45 seconds in. I have a way to make that easier for you. Yes. Try to get your chest to fly. I'm telling you, I'll make it easier. Where are you at? Yeah, there you go. The lighter is going to drop, forward. right? Watch me. Let yourself drop to the floor. You'll do it. Yes, Come on. Good. And then this. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? That's what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, go! This guy's got to poop. <laughs> Try to beat Jason! Nice job. 432. <laughs> we moved some of the gym equipment out. I said, hey, look, let's come in here, let's start doing classes. And the vision is, let's have this place packed with classes, get rid of all the conventional gym equipment, move that outside, right. and then we take over the cafe. We'll do smoothies and coffee, and that'll be like our check-in booth. Yeah. All the conventional gym there, and then fitness in here, like other form of fitness. Ready to rock? Ready to rock. Sticking and moving. Good, right? It's yeah, yeah. really nice. So it's an option. Ooh, unsalted. Even better. My favorite. Mainly, I learned today from kicking it with Jason is uh, A, you can never have too much energy. The amount of energy this guy has, if I can figure out a way to match that, that would be a monumental feat. But the main point is, it's just that he's passionate about what he's doing. He's really excited about each opportunity that he has. And the reason he's over here on the phone and hustling around, the reason why he's on the phone, is at Starbucks or when he's in the gym and all these different things, is he's just super, super excited about everything he's doing. So. That's something that I'll have to always keep in mind is to say yes to the things that I want to do because then I'll be more passionate and excited about it. And then secondly, the first thing I noticed was when we went to that office where we had the weights. It was probably time for me to get like an office like for our crew, regardless of whatever gym we decide on and stuff like that. Because I need to get like more of an office office for our employees rather than just makeshift stuff at the gym. Perfect. Thank you very much. Hey there, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow. This sauce is great. <laughs> Whatever that one was. That's the uh, pork leg. Woo! Picture of me with the eggplant. One, two. What are you doing with eggplant? You don't want to know. I want to meet Tim Ferriss and, and even, um, you know, just other people just because yeah. I want to pick their brain about stuff. So I sent this picture to my wife, you know, the eggplant. Yeah. And she goes, like, she goes, that emoji is more accurate. That's life size. So she's giving me a pat on the back. Yeah. There you go. So I'll take you guys um, to our first location ever. So we've been kind of cruising around, going to a bunch of locations, but I'm going to show you now. This is where it all, first, this, is, first spot. this is where it all began. So Jason is showing us his first uh, location ever. It's this little spot right here, G. He'll tell us about it. So this is our first ever location. We moved in here and I signed a six month lease. 2007. Uh, 2008, right on the hood of a truck, right here, I'll never forget. Six month lease, boom. Uh, you know, I knew at that point I was either gonna be successful enough to expand out or I was gonna go bankrupt, right? So my lease was like 1500 bucks a month on a 1500 square foot space whatever it is and sign a six-month lease right here 
it was a CrossFit gym. Oh yeah, right as off. as hardcore as you can get, you know. Was there any was there anything before that? Like, did you train people somewhere or like anything like that? Or I used to work at a conventional gym, like I was saying, and I got into CrossFit there. But no, we came here with zero anybody. Is there anybody that was part of that that's still part of your company? Oh yeah. There's still oh. some people like from that original gym and stuff that's oh, yeah. still part of your company. Oh yeah. Very cool. And we have coaches. We have three coaches that have been with us for over eight years. That's great. Yeah, it's cool. Right? That's really cool. He's ready to cruise. Next spot. Yeah, man. That that every time I go here, it just it just re humbles me, right? Yeah. Because it just reminds me of you know never think you're too cool because you know at any moment you can be back to being in a shitty ass warehouse. But I always tell myself that. Even if I was back at that shitty ass warehouse, I'd still rebuild everything that we can, mm -hmm. right? Because I'd be sleeping in that place to provide for my family. This location's awesome and it does really well. This location right here. Nice. Okay, you took me, you took me to this one before. Yeah, I just want to show you kind of some yep. of the changes that we've made. Is that you right there? Yep. This is our second location right here. Andrew, Jason, and Ashley. He's Got the gold medal. It's the 2008 CrossFit Games that he won. This place is huge. <laughs> this place is big. Remembering our past will help us in our future because you can't sit you get back to the limits. It's like great warm up. You can do one arm at a time, you get your full body into it. But you can literally just do like tricep arms too, like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ready to go. You know, we just gotta make sure we're, you know, we just gotta keep our head down and keep cranking it. But you talk about quality control, you talk about these different things. It's much easier for us to do here than it is for us to do this around the country. Right. And there's so much potential here. It's like, man, we're almost dropping the ball if we don't go for it. Right. right? Yeah, and if you start focusing on like LA or something, you, right. yeah, you might be, might take up too much energy. Right now, corporate wellness for us is, is, a, is a huge push. You know, I think right. our business, needs to grow in three areas commercial gym right like the one you just saw corporate gyms like the one you just saw and hospitality gyms um like hotels i really think that hotels is a massive opportunity for us we just gotta get our foot in the door right they had some slingshots there I so, we have, so i'd like to get slingshots everywhere um i think for us i agree we for <laughs> us I, <laughs> For us, I think we need to start a little bit more of a focus on a little bit more of the powerlifting side. Right. I think we've, you know. You should, anytime you want, I'll come out too, you know, and, and do, you know, like the, the last time I did that, that seminar at uh, at the Bay Club in San Francisco, that was a lot of fun. Like, I, lo I love doing stuff like that. Like, I I feel that I was like physically put on the, put on this earth to do that. So this bunch of remodeling has been taking place, right? Cool. But this is my baby. Like this is, out of everything we've ever done as a company, um, the Western Digital Partnership is by far the most transforming for anything we've ever done. I mean, this is this is my my baby. You know, I do. I live by this thing called AMRAP mentality, right? And what AMRAP mentality is, just being present, focused, move in, move out, move on, right? And. Uh, Part of me was kind of a hypocrite on that because earlier today I was taking a call, but I was kind of talking to Mark a little bit and I actually got caught off guard and I had to remind myself that I had to take this call, right? But I have a friend in town. So it was a very weird dynamic, but what I should have done is just been like, Mark, I love you to death. I'll be back with you in 20 minutes because I kind of messed up on the call a little, not, not messed up, but like I got a little distracted and that's me not using AMRAP mentality where I should have just been president focused on the call then president focused with Mark like I am with you guys right now, yeah. um, but I caught myself there. AMRAP mentality. How the fuck is that whole place filled up at 2.30 in the afternoon? So uh, something that Jason was explaining to me a while back, in this particular building, there was uh, two employees that worked ne right next to each other and uh, they didn't know each other all that well. They just knew each other on a first name basis, but they didn't know each other. They didn't talk a whole lot. They didn't have much rapport at all. By bringing in uh, this type of fitness, by bringing in um, this type of fitness into this environment and creating a culture and creating a community, these two guys that didn't talk to each other for, I think it was like something like 11 years, 
uh, became really close and became really good friends through training in here and through going through these uh, really hard, really brutal uh, style workouts. Right now they're kind of doing some yoga, some stretching type stuff, but it doesn't matter what you're doing as a group, it still builds community. For us as power lifters, you guys that watch this channel, people that have been tuning in for a long time, that's what you tune in for a lot of times is the community aspect of it. And so I'd like people to keep an open mind and, and realize that there's different communities. There's a community of people who ride BMX. There's communities of people that like to hike. There's communities of people that like to climb rocks. There's community of people that, that like to just kick ass in life like this guy right here, right? There's a lot of different communities. And so I think we should be open to uh, a lot of different, a lot of different types of communities. And then also be open to the fact that there's tons of opportunities. There's money all around us if you use your head. I mean, legitimately, people are putting together things like this. There's uh, health, there's wellness, there's fitness involved. There's a lot of great, positive, good things happening here. And uh, it's really cool to see the way Jason put this together. So here's a perfect example. Now film this. So 30 seconds ago, we're in a room with 30 people doing, you know, they were doing yoga, but they're also, they also participate in our regular group fitness classes, right? You come in here and it's just like, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. also too, the word participation, you know, like those people are, are participating in not only their own fitness and wellness, but in each other's. That's right. When you come in here and train, you're kind of by yourself. So even if we walked in right now and there's two or three people, they, one dude would be on the leg press, one dude would be over here doing curls, and one guy would be over here doing lap pull downs, and they probably wouldn't really communicate or be right. buds, you know? I think that's the bigger thing, man. It's not about necessarily what you do, right? It's about the fact that you're doing it in a group setting, you're pushing each other, whatever, right? Like, do I think that you can get more bang for a buck than the, you know, yes, no machine? Probably. But, could you get a good bang for the buck with cable crossover? Sure. Yeah. But, you know, but you're doing it with your headphones on, you're bored, you're monotonous. Whereas you go in there, it's 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 a little bit better vibes. I mean, and I hope you can capture this. The best part about that is I had no idea this was going on. Right. And I walk in and four of our staff are there and they're just handling business. Right. right. How do you get to the point where you've empowered enough people and you have good enough people on your team that you can be able to do that? That's the secret. Right. And now, now it goes from, hey, I need to come in here and fix things to, yeah, I need to not fuck this up. And yeah, they, not they don't disrupted. even want you in there. Let's right. get the fuck out of here. Right, don't be disrupted. <laughs> come in and see what's going on and get the hell out of here. <laughs> get seven minutes. Yes, yeah, seven minutes. Shitload of places already today. We've been crushing. <laughs> well, I mean, he's. Oh, hold on, we got a caller. <laughs> what's up, Tim Ferris? How you doing, my man? <laughs> Tim, what's up? It's Jason. Wait, Can you see us? Are you well. stuck? Good to be in. <laughs> Can you see us right now? Because your your face is paused. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I can see you guys. I can see you guys. The reception is pretty bad. My house has horrible Wi-Fi, so I think that the connection is pretty poor. But where are you guys headed? We've been uh, we've been cruising around a bunch of locations that. Uh, that we manage your own. And actually, we were just talking about you, man. I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan. I can't believe you just randomly called right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I've, uh, I've watched you and I know quite a bit about what you've done with the gyms and so on. So congratulations on all the success. I actually know a fair bit about your background of it. Tim, I really, really appreciate the uh, the phone call. Uh, I think Jason would be, oh. Should we just call him back really? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can get him. I think he was. He also made Tony Robbins. It's pretty elusive. He's been right. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I just uh, wanted to tell you. I think Jason would be great on your podcast sometime. It'd be great content. He's got a lot of wonderful things going on. He's uh, raising awareness and, and raising money for uh, pediatric cancer. His uh, little girl has leukemia, and so he's been uh, fighting that battle. Meanwhile. He's uh, being a meathead millionaire and uh, <laughs> bouncing around to all these other different business locations. You still there? Oh, whoops. Yeah. You are, is yeah, this? Well, I, I'd love to talk about it. Where, can you, uh, he's in the Santa Fe area? Yeah, yeah, I am. Very cool. Uh, well, 
let's do this. I'm actually uh, doing some recording right now. I just stepped away from lunch, but I have a uh, crew of three folks here. We're doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, so the best thing uh, I've been thinking about uh, doing a podcast along these lines, and I think that uh, there'd be a lot to explore. Mark, can you send me all the contact info that I would need you to text me? Absolutely. Done deal. All right, Tim, I'll pass along the info and I'll catch you later. Cool. Thanks, Thanks Tim. I'm like a little kid. There you go, man. Dude, I've listened to his podcast so many freaking times. Should be on my way. But close. Yeah, okay, you said three, so it's almost three. All right, everybody, listen. We got seven minutes, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, we do have seven minutes. <laughs> I'll go bring this inside the house. Yeah. Which one do you have there? This is Founder's Mentality. And then... Oh, anti-cancer. Wait, that. Yep, yeah, that's that's. Basically, the books I read are either business or uh, cancer-related. Like, I love that our um, driver is all jacked because you. Mark was yeah. digging that you had knee sleeves right next to the bed. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Did you see those knee sleeves right next to the bed? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take kidney gymnastics today. Then I would normally come back here and do more work. Since you guys are here, obviously I'm gonna hang out. We're just gonna chill, make some pizzas. And then that's actually pretty normal. Then what I would do is I would hang out with the kids, put the kids to bed, and then I'm working till late. Yeah, so let's see. Let's talk about it. So here are some ones that are aggressive. The ones that are labeled chemotherapy, you wanna try and not to, you wanna avoid you want to avoid taking yeah. these. <laughs> Not mixing those with yeah. something else. Um, so let's see, what's this one? That's crazy. It's just or, different chemotherapy for different treatments for different things, right? So this one, this pill is for anti-nausea, right? So like you could take it, you could take it, I could take it, right. no big deal, right? It's just that anti-nausea is super, super strong. So if you had nausea, like getting on planes, you right. would take this, right? That's for her. Um, this one, 6MP. Take one tablet by mouth two times daily every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is um, her called Septra. It's an antibiotic, and it's um, only taken on the weekends. And this one is to help with um, to avoid like pneumonia and different types of bacterial infections that become a big problem. Keep her immune system strong. Yep. Um, Who's kind of in charge of her taking these pills all the time? Is it you? Ashley. Or is? Okay. Take one tablet by mouth two times a day while on steroids. This is a ranitidine, which is, it coats the stomach and helps with the, um, like, really, like, craziness of the steroids that she's on. So that's that one. Um, take eight and a half tablets by mouth once every week. So this is called methotrexate. This is the chemotherapy. She takes eight of these pills. And what we do is we They're take these. small. Yeah, but we take these pills and we place them in. Uh, like little capsules. Right. So as she takes them, it's a little less uh, easier. She only takes two of uh, two big pills instead of eight small pills. Okay. This is once a week chemotherapy, right? This one right here, um, this is called 6MP. Take one and a half tablets by mouth at bedtime. So this is a chemotherapy she receives every single day called 6MP. Um, a lot of nasty side effects to all of these things. Then we have her steroid. Yeah. So she takes steroids uh, five days a month, right? And then in addition to that, right, we have all different other types of things, you know, like, uh, oh, here's here's her steroid. Death, dethamethasone, right? So these little ones. Take three tablets by mouth two times a day for seven doses starting evening, right? Mm -hmm. So these are the nasty little buggers. These are the worst of the worst of the worst. All this stuff, and we've had plenty of other ones. I mean, there's other ones in here. All these ones are small compared to yeah. this. These ones suck. And she's uh, six, right? So she turns six next month. Yeah. But like, this is our, our table. Like, Ashley's got her system down, and I don't mess with it. This is a pill cutter, right? But the, you know, for anybody who's interested in this kind of stuff, we've gone through a lot of different medical treatment care, but a thermometer is the most important thing. So, yeah. if I was to recommend any gift for any family who you find out has a cancer patient, give them a thermometer, a yeah. really good one, like medical grade, top notch. Because if your child spikes a fever, 
three times in a certain radius, mm. you're off to the ER. Like, right. it can and cause so, a lot of problems. Okay. But you want to make sure that you're not doing one that's just like the janky one in the ear or whatever. Right. You want to find a good one. Mark, we're getting, we're getting you a little cardio today. All right. Work the old heart. So we're doing one minute intervals. You're obviously just pumping the upper body there. Teresa, got it. Okay, so you, when you cook it, you have to cut the skin and then take the skin off and then smash it up and, and cook it like that. So don't cook it in the skin. Right. Because you want it to be crumbly. That's for both of them? For both of them. You need to take out of the skin and cook it. Right. Okay. Right. What else? My wife has ordered me to cut these you know, I'm multi multi uh, I guess I have multi set of skills huh <laughs> this is gonna ruin your good hair Jason dad of the year get dad, dad of the hat. year you're doing dad activities you get a dad hat thank you thank you <laughs> hey when you're dad of the year <laughs> That's right. oh yeah smoking man look at that wow It's almost ready. Every time. Doink, 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 She's doink, doink. Yeah. Hey Ash, do we put more cheese on top of this or no? It's whatever you would like. Yeah, it you can. You there's like no, there's really no, cheese, there's really no rules. rules. Yeah. Okay. Now just give it a little. Oh, okay. So we don't use the wood. Well, you do, but I'm just trying to give you a little. It's like a shuck. You want? Know, it's a little shuck. Am I? Am I gonna like? Why take don't it we? Off there here, no? why don't I do this? Why don't I do this one just real quick with this all one? Right, all right, show me what's up. This is a dad thing, by the way. He's got to do it himself. Wait, let me just shuck it. Total dad move, by the way. See this is why I don't know how to do anything. No, like I just wanted, to, I just wanted to shuck it for oh, you. Oh, you shucked it. Said this way, you could go ahead. Does your wife let you shuck it like this? Said this way, you're gonna Mark. get a lot of trouble. See, she's got to shuck it in the oven. See, now you're gonna be good to go on that one. Let me just, let me just position this the way we want to position it. All right, go ahead and shuck that one. I'm gonna shuck the shit out of this thing. Give a little, give a little, give a little tip. Or you know, you could actually just do it like this. <laughs> you, oh. do you see what I mean? Tip. All right, all right. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to fuck it up. Put it in, put it in, shuck it, just shuck it. Mark. There you go. Hey, look at that. <laughs> shuck the hell out of it. The Kalipas <clears throat> made some of their brick oven pizza. Ashley and Jason put this together, and <laughs> there's no other way of putting it. Fucking amazing! It's so good, and um, you guys know you've been following along on the keto diet, and uh, decided to go off the rails with this, and it's worth it. It's really good. Goddamn, that's a good pizza. Please give me some tight corners and bump the run. So they're going to start here, and they have to end here. The actual finish line okay, is so the we got to go around the kitchen thing? you got to go around the kitchen, <laughs> come around, come back, and then come down the aisle right, right. here. This is round one. If there's any discrepancy or tie, there's going to be a round two. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm super slow. Watch oh, Jason went the wrong way. Jason went the wrong way. He's going to make an oh. auto-correction. He's got to make an auto-correction. This gives Mark a 30 second advantage! Oh, I'm still gonna lose. Lucky for Oh, 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 oh. He went out! He went out! Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 the wheel! Oh, 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 uh -oh, this guy's gonna be mad at us. Uh -oh. Okay, Katie, Katie, how upset he is. Oh, we were having a race. Daddy, you owe Katie a new toy. Oh, so, Katie. <laughs> Daddy and his friend were riding these. And we're gonna have to get new ones. Oh, no. This one was a freak accident. I think I'll be able to fix that one, baby. No, there's no way. <laughs> That's done.
<laughs> Dude, Mark's lost a wheel. <laughs> Mark, you, now you have to explain it. That hurt my foot so bad. Explain again what I you can't. did. I can't. I'm distraught. I can't. It's a kid. Okay, uh, Uncle Mark owes you a new one. Yeah, we're going to need to get some this new ones these tomorrow. It's called memorabilia. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? Like, oh, I feel so awful. So, kid, tomorrow, you and I are going to have to go to the store <laughs> and go get some brand new ones. What color should we get? Pink and blue. Okay. Same exact ones that we already have. Okay. <laughs> Mark turns a corner and a wheel just starts rolling oh independently God. over here. But who won? That champ. Oh no, you definitely won. I know, but this one I feel like had a chance. Jason, come on, man, it's done. I feel like this one's got a chance. Did you snap the handle off? <laughs> Dude, I'm going around the corner and the wheel hits. <laughs> Like There's not even a park for Mars. It's, so it's gone. It's so Mine goes like this. Mine goes like straight up out, right? Oh like God. this. And then I look at you and your wheel. Oh you know, that's totally We're going to end on that note. That was too good. That was fun, dude. That was like, that was 12 hours of, of, of good times. Like. Yeah.